What's going on guys, this is Darezebo here and today I'm going to be bringing you all a new tutorial in Sony Vegas and After Effects. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this awesome explosion effect. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play an example of what I'm talking about before we get started. Okay, so as you can see, the clip pretty much just exploded onto the next one, and so you're going to need Sony Vegas and After Effects to do this. Um, there might be an easier way to do it, I am not sure, but this is how I am going to do it, going to do it because, I don't know, this is just the way that I learned how to do it, and I'm sure that there's a way you can keyframe it or something, but this is how I do it, so... Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is find the spot on your clip where the actual shot takes place or where you actually want to put the explosion and in my case it's going to be right here right when he shoots and this is just for the tutorial and so I'm going to go ahead and split that clip and so now we have the beginning of this clip and I'm just going to cut it a little bit so we don't have to watch all that and what I'm going to do is render this little bit at the beginning and so I'm just going to drag that, those cursors, and go to File, Render As. And I'm just going to go ahead and render this as the beginning. So that was a pretty quick render. And then what we need to do now is get the back, or the ending of the clipper, where we actually want it to explode. So let's go ahead and just select this part about right here. And then... I'm going to go to File, Render As again, and rename this Ending. And then I'm just going to go ahead and render that out. And so now we actually have the beginning of our clip, and then we have the ending, where we want the explosion to actually take place. And so I'm going to go ahead and open up After Effects and drag in both the beginning and ending. And then I'm just going to drag them both onto the timeline and make sure this is on single composition and there you go and as you can see we don't have enough room for both of the clips to actually take place because it merged them both onto one and so we want to go to um, composition composition settings and let's change the dura duration to about 15 for now and now we can drag that one over and so what we want to do is add the shatter effect right there where the actual shot takes place and I'm actually not sure why there's a red box right there so I'm just going to go back one frame and cut that and so what we need to do is go over here to our effects and presets if you don't have that make sure this is set to all panels or go to window and make sure effect and presets has a check mark beside it and then we are just going to type in shatter and let's just go ahead and drag shatter on the ending clip and so now if we scrub through this we can see that there's sort of a wireframe and it's exploding but um, it's you can't really see what's going on so let's go ahead and come up here to shatter view and change the view to rendered so now if we watch that through we can actually see that it's shattering just like that and but we can see that it's kind of cut right there like we need we need that to be full screen so what we need to do is I believe go to force one and we are just gonna expand that radius to about 0.60 and so now if we scrub through that we can see that it actually um, it's actually the full screen bursting and so that looks pretty good. Um, if you guys want to add any other things, you can come over here to shape and change this to eggs. Um, you can change it to glass. I mean, you can pretty much do anything you want with this. There's a ton of different stuff you can come through here and change up and just mess around with that. And then we can see that it burst, but there's actually nothing under it. So what we need to do is go find another clip. Let's just get a quick one really quick and just drag that into our project and then we just need to drag that underneath it and line it up when, when the burst takes place so now if we watch this through we can see it burst onto the other clip and 
It's a really cool effect. Um, it looks really nice in montages and not many people actually use this. So um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any other tutorial requests, feel free to comment below or message me. Please remember to leave a like, comment, and favorite if you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to render this out now and put it at the end of the video. Thanks, guys.